Nostradamus has very clearly and specifically predicted that sometime in the end of 20th century or in the beginning of 21st, the US and the Russia will ally against China and the Middle East in the most destructive and terrifying war ever fought. This war shall be conducted by the nuclear, biological and chemical weaponry. No nation shall be able to escape from the devastating effect of its severity. Nostradamus describes a worldwide holocaust, a war which has yet to be fought, in more than 270 quatrains. He says, it will occur in phases. The first global clash in the 20th century shall occur somewhere between 1993 and 1995. The final phase shall start, when the Jupiter and Saturn shall move in the sign of Aries. This may occur after June 1999. The cause of this holocaust shall be the Sino-Arab nexus. Although the first phase of the global war shall see limited use of nuclear weapons. Nostradamus foresees that the major battles of the World War III taking place in Europe may seem rather fortunate for the rest of the world, but although much of the killing and bloodshed will be on European soil, the other parts of the globe will not be able to escape the horror of this war. Before this war, Nostradamus indicates, there will be a revolution in the Soviet Union. Rising demands for consumer goods and a resurgence of old-fashioned nationalism among the minorities of the country will force the Kremlin to reform and a new form of government shall emerge territory-wise division will take place. Nostradamus says that a second revolution will begin and the Russians shall play an important role therein. See what happened in the USSR. A coup had been failed. A Russian Yeltsin dominates the Soviet politics now. Luxurious consumer goods are in great demand in the country. During this time, when the alliance between the US and Soviet Union will once fail, a great nation in the Far East, India or China, will succeed to unify the Far Eastern countries under its leadership. The United Nations and similar international organizations will begin to break up and disintegrate because of racial differences. The growth of the Far Eastern alliance will begin to disturb the attempts at international cooperation and friendship. It is exactly the same time, when a powerful dictator dominates the Middle East. While the Far East is still coping with the after-effects of the destruction brought by the fall of a great meteor in the Indian Ocean. Now, the Middle East dictator shall attack Iran with a million men army. He shall strike a blow against the Christians also. By now the entire Middle East and the North Africa stand ablaze, Arab forces will overthrow a pro-Western Moroccan king. This attack shall occur in early morning hours. Against the state of Israel, which will end up with its being defeated by the Arab armies. The raging conquests by the Arabs are beginning to reach beyond their boundaries, then they will threaten Central and Southern Africa for alliances favorable for them. At this moment, a series of tremendous earthquakes and aftershocks originating in Central Asia will cause destruction in the two warring nations. After this, the United States and ex-Soviet Union will announce a military alliance against the Far Eastern Nexus and the consolidated Arab forces. The newly elected leader of the Far Eastern Alliance will have much to fear. Now, a nation surrounded on the three sides by water, India, most probably, shall become a tempest to the Far and Middle Eastern alliance. This country will grow in fame, praise, rule and power. A great leader shall lead this nation and declare Thursday its holiday. While no one knows how the future war will really develop, one day, while the nations are still asleep, during the early morning hours, a great fire emerge out of nowhere. The nation of the far north, within the lands of the Arctic Circle will hear cries of death. Nostradamus says, that this attack will be launched by a third unidentified nation, that hurls, steel rocket of noise and fire, ICBM, towards Russia and the United States. Further, he elaborates the Easterners now seed the Arctic skies with deadly bacteria, carried by rain and the wind, the disease will spread southwards across Canada, the US, Russia and Southern Europe. This attack will originate from a space platform orbiting 270 miles above Earth. The rules of the Geneva Convention will be completely ignored, 
with the citizens will suffer from this attack. During the devastation brought by their atomic attack on the polar region and shortly thereafter the eastern forces will launch an attack in the direction of Europe, towards France. The eastern commander will wipe out all resistance, across southern Russia. This commander will be armed with a rod-shaped weapon that will cause tremendous destruction. Then, Arab and Chinese will launch assault on Turkey, Greece will be devastated by germ warfare. Athens will be attacked from Albania. Invasion of Yugoslavia and germ warfare is in store for Italy and attack on Greece and Italy should be expected at the same time it shall cause utter confusion and chaos. Meanwhile, the eastern forces will prepare to invade Italy, now uncertain. Italians shall engage themselves in a civil war. The northern Italy shall break away from the church and form their own government and they will expel all priests and Catholic officials from their region. The Church will demand military assistance from the United States. The devastating effect of the Chinese germ bomb. In the World War III by now the Eastern forces will attack from Albania and aim at destroying the city of Rome. Aerial bombardments, germ weapons and conventional military methods will be used. The city will be in ruins. The burning and destruction of the castle and the Vatican will follow with the imprisonment of the Pope. Nostradamus indicates that he will die as a prisoner. After Rome, a military assault on Rome and Venice will follow, resulting the fall of the Venice. Then France will enter in the war. The French fleet will join the war and destroy the Easterners in the Adriatic Sea. At this stage the Easterners will introduce a new weapon, probably a submersible tank, with total surprise come out of the sea and attacks coastal areas. The results of latter fights will be surprising. After the French counter-offensive in Italy the defeated French and Italians will regroup on the river Po in the upper valley. Nostradamus predicts the sinking of England at this moment. He predicts that the southern part of England will drown in the sea, due to unexpected reasons. Further continuing to explain the destruction of Great Britain, Nostradamus predicts, that a shake the city of London. At the same time, after the eastern invasion of the west coast of Italy the papacy quake will will be forced to leave Rome and a new pope will be elected to enforce the rule of the church. On the other hand the French will be cut off by the easterners in northern Italy, which will follow more French defeats and the capture of Prince Albert. Stubbornly, the French will try to regroup the defeated forces for another offensive, and the tactical error of the Easterners will make them lose their beachhead, thereby strengthening the position of the French, just before the imprisoned Pope dies. But due to the overconfidence amongst the French-Italian forces, ill-timed action will follow. Using nuclear devices the Easterners will regain the initiative against Florence and Siena, and will also use germ weapons at Pavia. As preparation for the Eastern invasion of France, Fifth columnists will poison the drinking water of Paris with a germ pollutant. Later, Nostradamus predicts the destruction of Monaco, sea and land attack on the French Riviera, the battle for Marseille, eastern penetration into southern and southwestern France, indicating the germ warfare used in southern France, ultimately the Chinese will attack France. The same Oriental leader who attacked southern Russia and Turkey at the beginning of the war will travel to west, his forces will follow him by air and sea and via mountains. The Easterners will secure positions along the river Rhone and then invade East Europe, attacking the Balkan states. By this time the Chinese and Arab armies coming from Morocco, will use nuclear weapons, which will be in the form of small tactical field explosives, they would destroy all the opposing manpower. After this, the invasion of Spain is predicted. At the same time an allied fleet will be assembled in the Mediterranean to raid eastern shipping force. This will destroy supply bases in the Cyclades and interrupt the journey of an Arab leader from Iran on the way to the Spanish front. The allied fleet, however, will be defeated near Malta, when the French lose Italy. The Easterners, gaining confidence will begin extensive bombing on Europe. They will use the Italian plain of Campania as a major airbase. Little later, the Easterners will attack the Switzerland by air. 
the city of Geneva will be a specific target in a land attack. They will confiscate the Swiss gold reserves and leave the nation's people impoverished and starving to death. Now they will thrust themselves into central France, then penetrate northern France and besiege the city of Paris. Here eastern land forces will completely surround Paris and a submarine fleet will threaten the city with rocket and germ weapons of Paris's defenses will be killed. This time they will use a beam of destructive light, laser, the commander. To avoid further destruction, a peace team of seven men will attempt to surrender the city without a major armed clash, but while negotiations are going on, the Easterners will quietly move into the city and engage themselves in hand-to-hand -hand combats. The seven peace negotiators will be executed by the Easterners and a prominent woman leader is raped to death in a jail. This resistance battle will result in the imprisonment and death of no less than 300,000 men and the city of Paris will be destroyed along with its entire population. Now, Nostradamus predicts that the Chinese leader with the deformed hand will detonate a series of high-yield atomic devices. An extensive area of southwest France will be burned terribly. The Chinese leader will also be killed in this destruction. The nuclear fire will reach his command post at Carcassonne and he and his forces will suffocated by the scorching heat. The German forces will manage to rescue one leader, important to the Westerners' cause. Meanwhile, the sinking of England forces its government to move to North America, leaving Scotland as island. With the Easterners, now, controlling Western Europe, the British will seek to use their only remaining bastion Scotland, as a military base. Some Scots will rebel, the exiled. Government will send expeditionary force to occupy Scotland, but the rebels will invite the Easterners, they will attack and defect the Britishers and capture the British commander, with six German prisoners and send them to Iran via Gibraltar. Later, Nostradamus predicts the fall of Fortress of London, one evening, shortly before sunset, when the Eastern forces surround the city island and destroy it. Then the invasion of West Germany and Austria is followed by the death of a German commander. Even his body is not found, then another German commander takes over, but he betrays the Central European defences, causing their fall and a blood bath. There will be little left of Europe that can be called free. Now, the Eastern forces launch assault on Holland and Belgium. The last stand by the Allies and important in Europe is broken and defeated in Burgess, Belgium. Eastern general will be killed in this battle, with the fall of Bruges. Easterners gain control over almost entire European 